Honda Civic and Ford Focus, they're one of the main competitors in the normie market. But which one would win in a Toge Canyon battle? My name is Ridge Chaser, and I'm a North American racer in the motorsport subset known as Toge. This is my journey through the elusive and captivating corner of this underground automotive world. Let's start with the Ford Focus. It's no RS or ST, but the curb weight is reasonable. Power delivery is alright, but the all-season tires are hot garbage. Its transmission is the type that's hated by many driving enthusiasts, and we're going to find out if it's really that bad. You're good, you're in L mode. Kicking up a lot of dust for those guys. It's almost like a battle technique. Um, just stand blasting your opponents who's chasing. Oh, it's gonna be good for chase for the back. Oh yeah. Use the gutter. Hey, well they did teach to use all of the track width. That is true. This is indeed a rally car. Okay, wow. very nice. Woo. How did that feel? Any um really shady? I don't know, I don't I don't really like the uh, because it's automatic. I don't like the automatic feel. Uh oh yeah. It's like the throttle just I don't have control of like the throttle really. It's, yeah, like power delivery you know? just does its own thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean other than that, it feels like it feels like if it was manual it would be like excellent. Got it. So, yeah. things like suspension, geometry. Suspension's good. Okay. I think so. Especially for this road, it seems like you know stock is yeah. stock is nice. Stock is always good. Yeah, for sure. You can't go wrong with stock. It's you know it's forgiving. It absorbs all the bumps. It's not gonna uh, unsettle you. You know, one little bump's not gonna unsettle you. Whatever you know. 
3 minutes and 20 seconds, not a bad spot on the leaderboard for a stock Ford Focus. The 6-speed automatic isn't the most ideal transmission, but it didn't cause too many problems figuring out what gear to be in. The brakes held its own during the high-speed downhill, even though the pedal stiffens up during overlap between acceleration and brake input. The dampers work well during the gutter drops. Good job, Ford. Next up is the Honda Civic. It's no SI or R, but the curb weight is reasonable. Power delivery is alright, but the all-season tires are hot garbage. Its transmission is a type that's hated by many driving enthusiasts, and we're going to find out if it's really that bad. I should also mention that the Civic has more than double the sales numbers of the Focus in the United States. Let's see if America made the right choice. Okay, that's fine. This is your time attack. This right, is, um, to go. be careful and go whenever. practicing this a lot. Yeah. Shit, seeing your guys' lines, it's, it's it shows it shows the difference between <laughs> locals and not locals. Yeah. No doubt. Three minutes thirteen seconds, about eleven seconds faster than the Ford Focus. The Civic had the power delivery advantage mainly due to the CVT staying in power band. It may sound like a vacuum cleaner, but that transmission does work. The Civic is more balanced in corners and could achieve better rotation. The stability control only interfered in the lowest radius corners. 
The winner is the Honda Civic. This is the car you want to drive when given the choice at your local rental chain. Try to maintain, maintain as much momentum and speed as you can. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a momentum car, as long as you can enter a corner balanced. Yeah. Because sometimes it's it's easy to get very eager and um, enter at too high of a speed. Yeah. Because the car will correct itself, but yeah. that's definitely not the approach that's fastest. Or smoothest, for all that matter. 